Hello everybody, welcome back to Queen Beans Collectibles, or hello if you're new here. I've had quite a few new subscribers lately. I have a feeling it's due to the one and only Brooke X Canadensis giving me some good shout outs. Thank you, Brooke! It's hugely appreciated! But we've got a good haul for the week. Tons of new merchandise on the shelves, tons of clearance options. Whew, it was a good week. Good couple weeks for toy hunting, guys. Um, I know Naturally says have been out for a while, but I feel like I truly never see all of their stuff together on display um, for sale. And this was the first time I felt like I had seen like a good majority of their products. So I thought it'd be kind of cool to share with you guys what that looks like, because I think they're gorgeous dolls. I think they just don't get the attention they deserve. And then there was, oh, that clearance pile was rough for me. Um, I bought so much stuff, it was insane. Uh, those those Sugar Buzz blind boxes were $1.50. The mini brands were like $4. I bought Harper for $17. Uh, yeah, I went a little, a little too hard. I went way over my doll budget. So I had to simmer down. Simmer down. And not buy any doubles. I'm trying really hard to behave about that. But the temptation to put them in their second outfits is very, very real. But nonetheless, I digress. We must behave. But yeah, really cool stuff to take a look at. Made me laugh that they had the Tooth Fairy in the clearance pile, even though she's still $55, which is no way, shape, or form clearance. If you are a Rainbow High fan or a Lala Loopsy fan, and you have a Walmart in your area, I highly suggest you go and check it out. Because they just seem to have piles and piles of it. Uh, it was also kind of cool to see all the Monster High ghouls together. And guess who I found hiding? She was on clearance for $15, and you can bet that Miss Daphne came home with me. Adding to my never-ending overage of the budget this time around. Whoopsie. Whoopsie. Don't blame me. Don't judge me. But yeah, we made our rounds to quite a few different places. Uh, in case you're interested, we went to a few Walmarts, a few Targets, went to Savers, went to Big Lots, I believe there might even be a CVS or a Walgreens in the mix, plus Macy's. Um, one of my new favorite thrift stores recently moved, so I'm showing you guys their updated location in a little bit, um, as well as a new place I encountered called Hello Tokyo. I think that is essentially like a Daiso because they had a lot of Daiso merchandise there, uh, but it was called Hello Tokyo. But, whoa, talk about budget issues. I had to put stuff back on the shelves. I was like, this is way too good. Way too good. So if you are anywhere near Daiso or a Hello Tokyo, once you see this footage, you're going to see why I think everybody should go check it out. I think they were built for doll collectors, but let me not overhype it. Let's enjoy what the, uh, the new merch is on the shelves right now. So we got some Easter stuff. I finally saw Pixo Bits because I see commercials for them constantly. Um, and I, I think that's like the first time I've actually seen them. And there's a new Dreamtopia like Ballet Barbie. Thought she was really pretty. And there's some of the new Shadow High dolls on the shelves. Kind of a cool mixture here seeing, you know, like Rainbow Vision and Shadow High. It just is interesting to me. Um, there were these cutie cuffs from Not Enough Surprise. They are not the original ones that came out for Not and Oz, which is what I liked. Um, I have one of them that I'm obsessed with. But when I googled images of the cutie cuffs, they were not as cute as the original Not and Oz little slap bracelets they came out with, so I ended up passing. Uh, but if that's something you're interested in, do start to check your um, like trading card sections, because that's where I found those. And then interestingly enough, this Big Lots had just a weird mixture of stuff. Like Sparkle Girls and some Disney Print Us, tons of Spirit, a lot of Barbie. Just really interesting mixtures and stuff to me. Um, so I just thought I'd show it to you guys, kind of check it out together. They even had some Barbie stuff. Um, but a good majority of it is like that generic, um, I don't want to say ripoff, because that's not, I, I don't think it's necessarily a ripoff. Let's call it more cost effective options. Um, they had a lot of those as well. Plus these little ponies for 99 cents, I don't think it's a bad deal. So Big Lots had some cool options and so did the Dollar Tree. 
So if you haven't been to your Dollar Tree in a while, I highly suggest you check that out as well. Because uh, they have some really nice name brand stuff there right now. And if you are anything like me and you are obsessed with these weird little washcloths for no reason, um, they have all new ones in stock as well. And for someone like me who absolutely loves Blue's Clues and saw three brand new Blue's Clues washcloths, I picked them up immediately because I have no control. Um, this Walmart was strange. They just had boxes of clearance, so it was kind of fun to dig through, but very abstract. And then this is the new location uh, for one of my favorite places that I suddenly cannot remember the name of. Uh, but if anyone is curious, let me know. I'll post it in the comments. But this is one of my favorites. It's got a great mixture of stuff. They do some homemade American Girl doll stuff. They've got name brand American Girl. Um, tons of toys. And this is kind of like a consignment shop, so it's used most of the time. But to me, that's like my favorite places to go because one, you're getting a deal and two, they got stuff that nobody else does. So yeah. Oh yeah, the name of it's Double Take Consignment. If someone's interested, it's Double Take Consignment. Um, but yeah, seriously, if 18 inch dolls are your thing, th this is the place to be. Um, their prices are really reasonable. Everything's really clean and in good shape. I really like their displays. They're pretty well spread out. I can look at the dolls. I can, you know, see everything. And again, the prices are nice. This is also one of those places that does the three price tag, meaning if you go there before a certain date, it's a certain price. And then as time goes on, the price goes lower and lower. So you could either buy it up front at a higher premium or wait until later on and hope that you still get the deal but then you're taking the risk. But these are my favorite kind of stores for that reason. I just, I love these stores. They're great at rotating their stock. Their prices are always going down rather than up. Um, and they've just got a really good selection. And they got pretty good hours. I can usually swing by after work if I get my butt moving. But yeah, seriously, they've got really great stuff. Um, at some point you're gonna see a My Little Pony, like baby pony playset. Ooh, the temptation for that one. That was hard to walk away from, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, but I'm trying to stray or stay away from getting too involved in My Little Pony because I'm afraid once I start that I'm not gonna be able to stop because I won't, because I have no control. Um, but yeah. And plus it was kind of a big place that I had no idea where on earth I was gonna put it, especially since I'm officially getting my Rainbow High House for my birthday, woo! So that's gonna be super exciting. Uh, but I definitely will not have room <laughs> for a whole lot of growth anytime soon after getting that because there's only so much room at the condo and uh, I don't want the fiance's uh, head to spin around on me. But there was that baby little pony set. I don't know. I just really liked it. There was something about it. It was really cute. And they do have this cute little spinner. I really like this as well. Um, it's cute for display as well. I might have to look into that. That's where they always have like their vintage ponies. Lower stock than usual. Somebody obviously had come in and cleared them out already. But they also have, you know, even LOL OMG. They've got Disney. They've got new in-box stuff. I mean, just literally anything you could dream up. They, they probably have at least one of those things. And if not then, go back there in a week or two and they will. Straight up. Um, but this is their new location. I like it a lot. It's much larger. It's a lot easier to walk around in seems like the toy um, area is bigger, but maybe not as stocked as it was at the old one. So I'm hoping maybe they're just going to need to fill it up since they're not used to having that much space. Um, that's that's my hope. But, but we shall see as time goes on. But this is just a really cool place in general for new toys, old toys, you know, everything in between. They've really got a cool mixture at decent prices. I mean, even these, I think these are Rainbow Bright dolls on the left, I think. They certainly look like them. And they had this blow up doll furniture for 18 inch dolls, which was so cool and tempting, but I don't really collect 18 inch. So seemed kind of silly to grab those. And then I headed out of there and went over to Ollie's, one of my other new favorite places. Their stock's been a little lower lately. Clearly they definitely have better toy selection near the holidays rather than throughout the rest of the year. But it's still really fun to go and take a look and see what they've got. I was bummed because I saw an empty box of mini brands there, meaning I probably missed a great sale on those. Ugh. Somebody probably snatched them all up, but it is what it is. I must accept. 
and no hairdos on this adventure because y'all know I am addicted to those little hairdos. Don't know why, but I sure am. But they did have lots of LOLs and there's that empty box that was taunting me, which was not very nice. And they did have a few of the Winx figures left. And then right next door is a pretty good sized Dollar Tree. They tend to seem to have a lot of name brand stuff. So they had Jungle in my pocket, Puppy in my pocket, Kitten in my pocket. Plus Totally Tinies, plus Dorbles. So I did end up picking up all three of the Totally Tinies they had, which was the set of Macaroons, Macaroons and the Cookie plus the taco and the churros and the toast and the eggs. I did pick up all three. You can 100% feel them through the bag. So if you want to collect all three of them, just go to Dollar Tree and feel the bags till you find all three because that's exactly what I did. I did pick up one puppy in my pocket. Um, it's kind of cute. They're flocked. Uh, I'm not in love. Um, I'm definitely more preferential to my little... Or, bleh, to my... Oh my goodness, because I see my little pony, I want to say it so bad. I am more keen on Littlest Pet Shop. That is for sure. Especially the bobbleheads. Those are the best. Um, okay, also want to call this out. Dollar Tree has some seriously cool, like, 1-6 scale doll stuff right now. Like, actual Barbie stuff for a dollar. Furniture, accessories, Dreamtopia stuff. I just can't believe it's only $1.25 here and they've got this much to choose from. Like, this is pretty exciting stuff, guys. These are some really good deals on name brand stuff. All right, now we're going to finish up at the dollar store, but then we're going to go to Savers. And this was definitely a good round at the Savers. I don't think I ended up picking anything up, but they had a lot of really neat stuff in stock that I wanted to show you guys. Like when I first walked in, their, their vintage doll section was like overflowing, which I feel like I never see. So I looked through it just in case, you know, because you never know if people misplace something. But there was this one doll. I think she might be a Disney porcelain doll. Um, one of those really nice big ones that people talk about with the really pretty eyes. Please let me know in the comments if you know who she is, because she was just really pretty. Um, she had like porcelain skin. I, she was just great. I, I hope that's a great find for somebody because it was only $10 there. And for a porcelain doll, I don't think that's that bad. But they did a lot of have a lot of other cool stuff. Remind me of like my childhood with like Dora the Explorer and the Shopkins. Hello Kitty. You know, stuff like that just brings me right back to my childhood. And they did have some pretty good dolls as well. Nothing particularly for me, but definitely a lot of cool stuff to choose from. Like seeing all those Pez dispensers was kind of cool. I feel like you usually see those get snatched up right away. And just so many Furbies. Somebody clearly gave up their Furby collection because, or McDonald's and Burger King toy collection, because there were so many Furbies at the Sabres. It was nuts. Um, they also had some of those Bloom dolls, Bloom Pop dolls, I think they're called. Um, and they did actually have some doll clothes, which I don't normally encounter. Plus a Lala Loopsie baby, and those normally kind of give me the creeps with their button eyes, but she's kind of cute. Is this the doll from Hotel Transylvania? Did she get a doll? Curious. Didn't really recognize her. And then I think that was a Liv doll. Y'all can correct me if it was supposed to be Project MC Square because y'all know I mix those up every time. I cannot differentiate them to save my soul. I don't know why because they are pretty different. But something in my brain just cannot understand the difference between them. Oh, and there was a Hannah Montana doll. And an Ever After High doll. So this was kind of cool to see in general, but I don't know if you guys are noticing this either. They are up pricing the nonsense out of their dolls lately at Savers. Like I went from paying like two or three dollars per doll um, and sometimes even getting more than one in each pack. But now they're charging like six or seven dollars per doll and half of them are missing all of their stuff or are nude. What? When did this price increase happen? I don't like that. I don't like that. This is supposed to be deals, guys. Deals. So stop it, Savers. That's really not very nice of you. We don't appreciate it. Makes me mad. Ugh. Like, I know we're still getting deals, but like, come on. Like, that five or six dollars for these dolls, not even with shows. Come on, Savers. That wasn't very nice. But I'm hoping it's just a one-off. Maybe, you know, maybe I caught it at a bad time. Maybe... Somebody was having a bad day and they just wanted to price gouge everything. I don't know. 
Um, but nonetheless, I did skip most things. Now, this. This Puppyville Hotel. Yeah, I'm about to ramble for a little bit, so enjoy. So that is a Kenner toy. That is original, vintage Littlest Pet Shop. And one of my favorite things to collect in this whole world is vintage Littlest Pet Shop. And when I saw that, my mouth hit the floor. I was like, this, this is mine. This is it. And then I saw the damage that had been done to it, and I was so bummed. Because I was like, okay, at least I could fix the cardboard in the back. You know, there's a lot of things I can fix. But then I noticed that somebody had stuck, and I mean stuck, stickers all over the inside of it. And I was like, there's no way I'm getting all those out without it looking bad or, you know, goopy and messy. So I did pass on it. I think that will forever haunt me. I do regret it a little. Maybe I could have fixed it, but... That would have been an insane project, but I can't help it. I do love Vintage Little's Pet Shops so, so much. I mean, don't get me wrong. I love the Hasbro Little's Pet Shops as well, but my true favorites are the Vintage Kenner ones. Those are my life. I absolutely adore them. And I'm pretty sure my parents got me a Vintage Little's Pet Shop set for my birthday. So this is gonna be an amazing birthday between the Rainbow High House and the Vintage Little's Pet Shop. I am going to be so excited, I will not know what to do with myself. So once I get that stuff, I am going to be decorating up a storm and making everything pretty. And then we're going to do an updated collection video with my new shelves and the house and all the stuff looking extra, extra pretty. So do stay tuned because I am very excited to share that with you guys. Now oh, let's sidetrack a little more while we're at the five below enjoying the deals at five dollars and below. Y'all have been some really cool people. I'm really appreciative of all of your comments, liking the videos, subscribing. It literally means so much to me. I know it sounds so cheesy and lame, but to me, it means the world that y'all are interested in these videos and are taking the time out of your day to watch them. Heck, to even comment, it's appreciated. So please feel free, join our little family, hit that subscribe button, because I am happy you're here. But don't go out of your way. You don't need to go making a login. You don't need to make the whole rigmarole. If you're just happy to be here, enjoy the ride with us. But if you've got a YouTube login, I don't see any harm in hitting that subscribe button. Wink, wink. Okay, I promise to stop promoting it now. Let's just go back to enjoying the toys. So if you have a five below in your area, I definitely recommend checking that out as well. Again, lots of name brand stuff. And even the stuff that isn't name brand is usually pretty cute. Plus, it's not like you can't use that stuff with other toys. You know, who says you can't intermingle them? Um, if you are ever looking for the hair dorables with the hair that feels all jelly, by the way, every five below I've been to seems to have an abundance of them. So if you are looking for some of the hair dorables that were released towards the end, I highly suggest buy below. And those cutie loos are really cute, or cutie twos, whatever they were called. Is that a new line of them already? Does anyone else know? Because they certainly look like a new line to me, but maybe I'm just not as familiar with them as I thought I was. And they did have tons and tons of blind bags. I've never seen uh, the many brands outside of like the Zuru 5 Surprise Balls. These candy pops were pretty cute. And then they had a bunch of play sets that you could build um, for like Hello Kitty and stuff that I thought were absolutely adorable, as well as these teeny tiny play sets. Now, if you are interested in those, they are coming out with more of them. So they're gonna have like a sushi bar and like a kitchen set. So do keep an eye out for those if that is uh, at all grabbing your attention. And if you like these little four packs of minifigures, they're only five bucks there. And for licensed figures, that is not a bad price at all. And even for like this stuff, for like nail stuff or bath supplies, they have some really cute stuff as well. And then this is just a random Macy's, which I thought was really interesting because it just had kind of like a Claudine and a, um, or a Kohl's, forgive me, this was a Kohl's, not a Macy's. Um, but they just had a really weird mixture of stuff at this Kohl's. Um, and it seemed like they only had one of each item, which I found even more abstract um, and intriguing. So do make sure to check out your trading card section at Target, Walmart, or wherever you might have one. And then do check out your local Targets and Walmarts. I can't say that enough. 
they very clearly are clearancing out old stock and adding in new. Like these BFF Crybaby dolls were only $5.99 a piece, which was absolutely insane. I did really want to pick them up, but I was already over budget for the week, so I had to control myself and I did end up putting them back. However, I did not control myself entirely because on this little trip to Target, I did find Roxy from Rainbow High for $17.99, and y'all know I could not resist and picked her up immediately. Um, was a little bummed that I missed out on an $8.99 Rainbow High doll. That's a bit disappointing. And then I did see the Bratz dolls as well, which I really, really love. But that $36.99 price point is a bit deterring. So I'm hoping eventually they go on clearance because I definitely don't want to be paying $36.99 for an unarticulated doll. I believe they come with second outfits, but nonetheless, that's still pretty pricey. Um, especially compared to like Rainbow High or heck even Barbie, if we're being realistic. And then you're going to see these Bum Bums stuffed animals pop up a lot. They are definitely some of my favorite new things on shelves, though I am desperately trying to fight the urge to purchase them. I think they are really, really cute. They are essentially little adorable soft plushies that look like all my favorite things, like lava lamps, peace sign, yin yang symbol. They've just got a ton of cute stuff that is exactly my vibe and is very, 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 very tempting. So I do end up heading over to another Macy's that has a bigger toy selection. It was a bit messier, but they definitely had plenty to choose from. Oh, poor Whiffy's little squirrel things. I don't think they ever stood a chance. Poor little guys. I did see some of the new Barbie extra dolls. Obviously not the one on the left, but it was cool to see the like gummy bear themed one. And they did have some Rainbow High dolls. I will say most of which were full price, but there were a few on sale. And I did finally see the Monster High Claudine bedroom set, which was really cool to see in person. It really is detailed and beautiful. Um, Monster High Generation 3 is definitely trying to win me over. Uh, they're, they're making some headway in that. I've never collected Monster High, but the temptation gets more and more real every time they drop something else. And I really do like that Not Enough Surprise car as well, especially now that I have the little camper. The temptation to hook those up with each other is beyond. And then I could put my extra Nananas in the seat of the car and it would look super duper cute. But I digress, I needed to control myself. So maybe I'll be adding that to my birthday list. But I enjoyed the rest of Macy's blind bag section and I did end up finding a bunch, bunch of clearance mini brand pods. So I did end up purchasing those and here is what I opened up there. I didn't want you guys to have to sit through that because I was way too excited and I just wanted to rip them open. Now we officially make it over to Hello Tokyo. This again seems kind of like a spinoff from Daiso. They have a lot of Daiso branded stuff so it seems like they could maybe be partners or something of the sort. But this particular store is called Hello Tokyo even though it did have some Daiso merchandise. But they had some really great stuff. They had anime, Pokemon, Sanrio. Just tons and tons of really cute stuff. And they had this whole area of plushies that was absolutely mesmerizing. Prices were a little steep on these, but I kind of expect that on these, especially because half the time I think they're imports. Um, so it doesn't usually shock me that they're priced pretty high, which is why I tend to skip them. But it is still fun to take a look at them nonetheless. Plus, if I was rich, I would be buying all of these. But yeah, I just wanted to show you guys what this particular area looks like. Again, tons of really cute choices, but I did skip here. I behaved. I did not behave anywhere else in this store, but here I was like, okay, just fun to look. And um, they have a lot of cute stuff like houseware stuff that has like Sanrio characters on it. They have a lot of stationery, tons of Disney stuff. Really, really, really cute options at good prices. It's essentially like a dollar store, but instead of starting at a dollar or a dollar twenty-five, things here start at two dollars or two twenty-five. So it's not that much more. Plus, to me, the quality of these items and all of the cute licensing they have on them to me is definitely worth it. Um, I will be going back because, as you can see in my brain, this is doll furniture. It said it was for like decor or for holding your cell phone, but my brain saw this stuff and I said, "Oh, I need that to decorate my dolls." and their dollhouses, and where they like to hang out. 
So very, very exciting. Um, really, really cute stuff. Again, tons of selection, wasn't super crowded. I just liked seeing all these neat things. I think I'm definitely going to get greeting cards from there from now on because those were absolutely precious. And they had so many cute little options to choose from. Most of it I could not read, obviously, but it was still fun to look non nonetheless. And plus, I can usually tell from pictures what's going on. I wish I would have realized how cool this store was going to be because I would have definitely gone earlier. I went right before they were going to close, of course, so filming and shopping had to be done pretty quickly. But seriously, look at all the doll accessories. I was absolutely drooling. I was like, girl, I need it all. I need it all. And they had a whole other section of plushies. I was like, what? You're trying to take all of my money and that's really not very polite of you. So I did leave those behind. I did end up picking up one of these cups because I have absolutely no self-control when it comes to adorable plastic cups. Something about plastic cups just gets me. So I did get a cinnamon roll, cinema roll cup. Ooh, can't pronounce that either. And then I loved their section of display stuff. Like look at all of these different items. I did buy like a couple of acrylic doll stands I'm excited about. They have all these cute costumes for your cats. They had all this cute stuff for like baking Disney stuff. They even had like a lot of houseware stuff that was branded with Disney. Even like actual dinnerware had Toy Story and Disney princesses and Winnie the Pooh. So those are really cute. I liked those a lot. And then the keychains. I literally picked them up and put them down like 10 times. And I was like, no, you have to control yourself. So I did end up putting it back, but I can't say that the next time I go back that it, I won't be very, very tempted. But uh, all these uh, cinema roll and my melody and Hello Kitty and uh, all my favorite things were in this place. And it was just like, wow. There was also a Burlington next door and I have no control. So I did end up going in there just to see what they had. They did actually have some cool stuff um, that caught me by surprise. And of course I ended up finding Amaya and she was so perfect and I have no self-control. And she wasn't that expensive. So maybe I took Amaya home with me. I did take Amaya home with me. Let's not even front about it. I absolutely did. Oh, the one on the left. Look at her. She was like perfect. I was like, oh, you're coming home with me. You're so pretty. Did anybody notice these little tubs at Target? Those are pretty cute. I don't know what scale doll those would fit, but they're cute. And then next to the rainbow high socks. I don't know if anyone else noticed, but there's now Barbie socks. And those are really cute. I'm not huge on Barbie, but... Kind of cool to see new stuff popping up over there as well. Now that Rainbow High seems to be getting their feet into card socks, everything in between, I am going to be looking everywhere and then some to try to make sure I'm not missing any cool merchandise. Here is the Daiso bag I got, and there's Titus trying to jump inside of it. Very shocking. And here is all the stuff I bought at Hello Tokyo. So there's those acrylic display stands. There's a notebook that says, let's jump avocado. Don't know what it means, but I found it hilarious. Got some cute Dalmatian socks, love Dalmatians. And there is Miss Roxy and Miss Amaya that I grabbed. And I did find an empty Bratz minis display. And I decided to take that home with me as well. So I got some free minis out of it. And that is our haul for the week. So thank you guys so much for stopping by and checking out the channel. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment. And I look forward to seeing you guys on the next one.